Hello, everybody. Welcome to my homestead. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please like it and hit the notification bell. So I just came across <clears throat> a very interesting bit of news here. Uh, this happened two days ago. Um, if you'll recall, I just did a video about the fire, um, the wildfires that were going on around Jerusalem. Uh, that were enough to darken the skies over Jerusalem and over the Temple Mount. Um, go check out that video if you haven't already. But here's another bit of information that, that has to do with that, which I think is amazing. So I'm just going to kind of read some of this here. Metsuda Winery went up in flames on the very day of grape harvest. <laughs> okay. On the day of grape harvest, this winery went up in flames. Now, if you're a watcher and you're watching for the second coming, you know the importance of harvests and how that kind of imagery has been used uh, by the Savior himself and in the scriptures to represent, um, you know, basically the purpose of this life. And essentially, this entire mortal life is, is a big harvest. We're, we're trying to harvest the righteous, you know, for the celestial kingdom. And uh, the harvest is coming to a close. Now, there, there's that theory about, like, you have, um, you know, I heard this from Jody Stoddard, and she heard it from somebody else, but essentially that there's, like, different harvests. That first there's the barley harvest, and then there's the wheat harvest, and then there's the uh, grape harvest, and then there's the olive harvest i think that's the order that it goes in and essentially uh from what i know of that theory the wheat kind of represent the church uh the grapes would represent those i guess that would be left behind if there was like a rapture or that wouldn't uh be translated yet but um, after the main group or the main body of the church is translated, they, they would, um, I guess, uh, later join and they would be harvested. And then the olives, of course, would represent the very last, which would be the Jews themselves. So I find this highly significant. Um, I'm just going to read a little bit down here. So the fire, which is still burning as of this writing on Monday morning, uh, is being called one of the largest blazes ever recorded in the wider Jerusalem area. And, you know, I must say, I, I've never heard really of wildfires around Jerusalem or in Israel, but I'm sure that they happen sometimes. But I think this is, I think this is noteworthy. It appears to have been set near the town of Bet Mayer an area targeted by arsonists in the past. Due to the strong westerly winds prevailing on Sunday, it spread rapidly to nearby communities, which were swiftly evacuated. Some 10,000 people were directly affected. The Metsuda Winery is a Heredi-owned vineyard that was founded around a decade ago in the small town of Givat Yeharim, about 20 minutes' drive from, from Jerusalem. All right, so, that, so that's pretty close to Jerusalem. Um, let's see, going down, this is a quote. Uh, he says, it was going to be a day of harvesting the grapes, bash related. We started working indoors that morning and suddenly the world seemed to be going dark outside. The skies looked strange, but we didn't realize the reason why. And we went back to work. Um, around a quarter of an hour, the electricity went down and we started to get worried. We went outside and then saw the flames they were already approaching uh and there was in uh, i think that's supposed to be rancid there was a rancid smell of smoke and we realized what was going on all of us all the winery workers ran for our cars and fled for our lives um <clears throat> all right i'm just gonna skip down here i'll put the link in the description below uh so you can read this yourself but let me just read this last little paragraph here. Bash noted that the blaze occurred in the Jewish month of Elul, during which Jews examined themselves for their misdeeds. 
and return wholeheartedly to God, to follow his commandments with love and awe. Quote, As we stood and watched the winery go up in flames, I was reminded of the prayers we recite on the high holidays, who by fire, who will be at ease, and who will be troubled, and realized that the moment that God decided that the winery was going to be burned, that was it. There was nothing anyone could do about it. Not the planes, not the firefighters, because this was God's will. And that thought comforted me. So, um, okay. So I guess that happened. I think it's significant. A fire that happened during on the on the day that a grape harvest was supposed to occur. Um, you guys, th this is just this is just crazy. It's crazy. Um, anyway, if you like this video, please please uh, like it. Uh, sus subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell. And I'll talk to you next time.